Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News CD review of the new As I Lay Dying CD titled Awakened. The CD will be released on September the 25th in North America through Metal Blade Records. And this is the sixth release for As I Lay Dying, and it was produced by Bill Stevenson. Uh, this is a, a solid album throughout the whole thing. Um, let's do a track by track review. Uh, the first track is Cauterize. Uh, this one here uh, is uh, the first single that they released, and uh, you know a lot of you might have heard some uh, this song. Um, this I'll tell you, there's no start in this album off, off slow. That's for sure. It smashes you in the face right off the bat. Uh, this is the first song they released off Awaken, and it's a killer track. Excellent production. Uh, in your face drums of course uh, just like always and a great mix of clean and uh, screaming vocals and there's a nice breakdown and a killer solo in the first track um, just love the sound of the solo in this one and that's Cauterize, great lead-off track. The second one is a greater foundation. Uh, this one here, the guitar swells in with some nice uh, sort of stuttered drum beats. Uh, this has some great lead vocals, uh, nice backup vocals as well. Um, you know, some, some nice sort of chants highlight this song in the backup vocals. Uh, I just love this one. This would be a killer live song for sure. And it has a nice double kick beats in this uh, near the end. Uh, another great song. The next song is called Resilience. Uh, this one here has just some killer guitar licks in this one. Um, really love the vocals. Uh, the lyrics really stand out in this song as well. Uh, it's just great writing. This song is highlighted uh, with just some killer riffs. Um, it has a nice solo in it. I uh, wish this solo was a bit longer in that because it just sounds so great. Fits in nice. And it has, a, again, a nice mix of clean and screaming vocals uh, in that song as well. The next song is Wasted Words. Uh, this is a nice, super fast guitar rift in this one. Uh, killer double kick drumming. Uh, super high energy song. Uh, they bring it down for the chorus. Um, just a real catchy song. This one, so so far to the top four. This one's kind of my fave. Uh, this song here rips. Uh, it's got great time changes in it and some nice guitar effects at the end of the song. Number five is Whispering Silence. It starts off with a straight ahead groove. Uh, then it's anything but silent, that's for sure. This song has an excellent chorus, uh, complemented with some nice guitar riffs as they do the chorus at the same time. Um, excellent vocal phrasing in it. Um, and uh, this is another catchy song. I've noticed that they've been you know, writing catchier uh, lyrics and catchier uh, choruses uh, as the each song has sort of a catch in it uh, compared to some of their older stuff. Um, this one here has some really nice dynamics in it and again a nice solo. I just love the guy's solos uh, when they light it up um, and I wish they'd have just you know maybe even a touch more of the soloing in there um, like this song has. Um, the solos are so good. Just an awesome track. The next song is number six. It's called Overcome. Uh, what a sweet intro to this song. Some acoustic guitar with a nice solo over it. Uh, I just love the way they start the song off. It's kind of different than the other ones. Um, I really like it. Uh, gets dirty again uh, with some killer drum beats. Um, and, you know, they, they definitely wrote a ca another catchy chorus to this one uh, on this album. It has some great backing vocals again. The backing vocals are, are standing out on this album. They're kind of like, some of them are, um, you know, almost like a, uh, you know, like a gang vocal in the background. It sounds really cool. Uh, excellent lyrics again. Uh, this one has a nice, fast, uh, crunchy breakdown to top it off. Um, and man, do I love their solos. Uh, number seven is No Lungs to Breathe. This song has some interesting uh, kick drum patterns in it. Um, some excellent screams and almost getting to the growl territory. Uh, you know, just really excellent on the vocals. A uh, nice heavy song. Um, good play on vocals in it. And another awesome solo to finish that one off. And that's uh, No Lungs to Breathe. 
Gets into number eight, which is Defender. Uh, yes, the bass. Joss just drives this song. Uh, it starts off with some killer bass in it. Uh, there's a nice solo in the beginning of this song as well. Uh, just like love the way this one starts off. Again, it's a little different than some of the others on the album. Uh, this song has everything in it. Great vocals, great solos, killer riffs, um, some just, I mean, solid, solid drumming, just high energy drumming. Definitely a standout track. Um, I hope they play Defender live when they come to her on this album. And number nine is Washed Away. Uh, this one here has got a nice, slow, moody guitar picking um, with some dirty guitar swells underneath. It's kind of like an interlude track to uh, the next song, uh, which is number 10, My Only Home. Uh, this song here has an awesome feeling in this song. Um, it's got great lyrics again. Uh, nice trade-off on vocals, which is is really playing a lot in this album. They, the vocals uh, and the choruses are just, uh, you know, I don't know. They seem to uh, have progressed in that type of catchy chorus and, and uh, lyric writing. Um, nice driving guitar riffs again and just some awesome solos. I just love the the two tu the uh, the tune of their solos um, and the sounds they get on their guitars with their solos um, and some great guitar melodies and the last song is called tear out my eyes um, I'll tell you man Tim just gives it on vocals for this song um, it's got a great chorus uh, it's got a darker feel to it uh, about 240 into this song there's a really uh, cool heavy guitar sound with a break and a solo all together uh, it's really nice really stands out adds to the song a lot uh, you can just definitely bang your head to this one um, uh, this this album is it's a very solid album throughout every track has its has its little lick little uh, catch to it um, you know and it seems like they're really um, you know they got some it's probably the most enjoyable full listening album to all of their albums throughout the whole thing um, uh, and the guitar work on this album is just a, a really nice surprise um, I just you know love when they do their solos um, you know the sounds that get out of the stuff and I noticed that uh, it's kind of uh, you know catching on as choruses are starting to stand out more, um, you know, kind of like the old school metalcore metalcore bands such as like Unearth, um, you know, As I Lay Dying, Shadows Fall. You can tell that they're putting more emphasis on uh, the choruses and the the vocals kind of playing off uh, one another and just sort of writing a little bit more catchier stuff that sticks in your head. And they definitely accomplished that. On this album uh, this album has you know some of the the feels are a little darker in that but they also have the catch in the in the, the phrases in there that really kind of catches you um, I really enjoyed this album and I think they're gonna do great so um, you know with this album so pick it up the album is awakened and it's out September 25th uh, through Metal Blade um, yeah so uh, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock Metal News thanks for tuning in